2019 saw the 16th edition of the Dubai Air Show and with almost 1,300 exhibitors, nearly 90,000 visitors and around 100 aircraft on display, this year's promised to be the biggest show yet. As always, the Dubai Air Show got off to a right royal start with dignitaries including His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum opening the show. The opening days saw a raft of announcements from key players across the global industry, including Airbus, Embraer and Boeing. Among the orders, Emirates signed an agreement for 50 of Airbus's newest wide-body aircraft, the A350-900, and a further deal for 30 Boeing 787-9 Dreamliners, taking their order book to $25 billion. Budget carrier Air Arabia booked 120 narrow bodies from Airbus, including 20 A321 XLRs, in a deal worth $14 billion. Kazakhstan's Air Astana announced an order for 30 Boeing 737 MAX 8s for its low-cost carrier Fly Aristan in a $3.6 billion deal. Air Senegal's plans to develop its regional network in Africa and long-haul network in Europe took a step forward with an MOU for eight Airbus A220 300s. And Embraer signed deals for three E195E2s for Nigeria's airpiece, along with three E190 jets for Cairo-based CIAF leasing. And a Havilland of Canada landed some solid business with its Dash 8 400 turboprop, with deals including 20 to Palmer Holding, 6 to the Republic of Ghana and 5 to Aurora. Whilst there was plenty of news and announcements from the industry's established names, new players were also being introduced. The UAE's new tech conglomerate Edge was announced as Dubai Air Show's first ever advanced technology partner. The newly announced conglomerate has ambitions on developing the country as a global technology leader. Edge integrates over 25 defence entities and independent organisations and is the single biggest exhibitor at the show. Countries from around the world were here in force, with India having a pavilion presence for the first time. Kingsbury Gulf also debuted at the event with its innovative additive manufacturing equipment. And UK firm Spacebit also touched down in Dubai this week, showing off a four-legged moon rover due to be tested in the UAE ahead of its 2021 launch. As well as giving visitors a chance to see, touch and hear about the latest aerospace developments, the show also gave them a chance to learn. Five themes featured in this year's conferences, discussions and workshops, from tech talks to global air traffic management. Cargo Connect brought together some of the biggest names from all parts of the supply chain. They were opening keynotes from decision makers with Dubai Airports, Emirates, Sky Cargo, FedEx and Etihad. The conference discussed trends and advancements in cargo, including next generation freight, automation, e-commerce and digital cargo. It's a much needed event that brings together the entire industry from, uh, from cargo forwarders, from agents, integrators, everybody who's interested in the cargo business and the entire supply chain, really. 2019 has been an exciting year for the UAE space industry. In September, astronaut Hazar Al-Mansouri became the first Emirati to reach space, carrying out research on microgravity across eight days at the International Space Station. Two years ago, I was here participating as a 16 solo pilot air show. I was seeking and asking about space. And I approached uh, Mohammed Bar Rashid Space Center and asked them about this program, UAE Astron program, and how they will start and uh, what's the objective behind it. And uh, I'm definitely uh, honored today, after two years, to be here again, but uh, as an astronaut. Back on Earth, the UAE formed the Arab Space Cooperation Group. Joining forces with 10 Arab countries, including Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Jordan, the group's shared goal is to advance the region's space industry. And the Dubai Air Show unveiled its new space pavilion with two dedicated conferences launched with the UAE Space Agency to inspire bright young stars to the evolving sector. Two former astronauts were among the speakers who shared their experiences. Claudie Ennery from the European Space Agency encouraged women not just to reach for the skies but beyond at the Women in Space conference. Your Emirati astronaut, they are so representative of this uh, young spirit and the new generation. That's so uh, really a good match to have Women in Space Conference and in the world and this young, young generation. 
And Apollo 15 Command Module pilot Colonel Al Warden, one of only 24 people to have flown to the moon, launched a scholarship award in his name, encouraging Emiratis to participate in space exploration and STEM topics. Rotary flight was another highlight, with aircraft from Bell, Leonardo, Sikorsky and Augusta Westland at the show. Saudi Arabia introduced its first commercial helicopter operator. Launched earlier this year, the helicopter company has backing to the tune of $150 million from the country's public investment fund and will cater for the emerging demand in luxury tourism and improve urban aerial transport between Saudi cities. Russian helicopters unveiled its twin-engine Mi-38 helicopter. The 15.6 metric ton rotorcraft made its debut at the show, demonstrating its maneuverability during the flight program and its luxury cabin configuration. The UAE's Tawazun announced it's to take a 50% stake, worth around 400 million euro, in Russian helicopter subsidiary VR Technologies. Another deal sees Pratt & Whitney supply the engines for the Russian firm's upcoming VRT-500 city-friendly light helicopter. And a new helipad and terminal for Expo 2020 Dubai was unveiled by Leonardo and Falcon, and it could showcase the very first AW609 tilt rotors. As always, an integral part of the Dubai show is the flying and static display. We were treated to breathtaking aerobatic action from some of the world's most renowned teams, including the French Air Force's Patrouille de France, UAE's Alfersan and the UK Blades. The flying display also enabled manufacturers to demonstrate their aircraft's capabilities to the global aerospace industry. Commercial aircraft on show included Airbus's A330neo and Boeing 7879. While on the defence side, the French Air Force demonstrated a Dassault Rafale and the UK's Royal Air Force performed with a Eurofighter Typhoon. UAE Ministry of Defence displays throughout the week, including a Mirage 2000 and an F-16. So that was just a flavour of Dubai Airshow 2019. Of course, there's only so much we can show you in a highlights video. So for more news, interviews and insights, make sure you head over to the Dubai Airshow website. We'll be back in 2021. Hope to see you there.